Morning all, absolute stunning August morning here on the Norfolk coast. We're getting ready to go away. We've got two weeks in the caravan. We're visiting three sites, got some grandchildren in tow, so that should make it rather exciting. We'll do the big reveal as to where we're going when we get there, if you know what I mean. But before we go, uh, got a few jobs to do. Getting ready to go, really important. So I'm just gonna take you through some of the things that we have to do in order to make sure we're safe. Seagulls. Not a long journey, but it doesn't matter whether it's a mile or 200 miles, you've got to make sure you get it right, haven't you? Tires need to be on 64 psi. Uh, currently, just on 61, so not been out for a few weeks. So just need a little bit of air in. We'll get that up to 64 now. So we've been
been here before, then this next turn right, not this one, but the very next one towards the site, it can After sneak up on you. Yards, turn right. So you've got to look out for it. The other thing here with the old brick kilns is they're very strict on your timings in for obvious reasons, as you'll see in a moment. There's no passing place, it's one way traffic only. So, looks all fine so far. But you're just going to hang left for a minute. After 600 yards, turn left. And then when you turn left, it's very much single track. If you meet another caravan or a motorhome coming, you're going to have a problem. So you can't get in here before 1.30. We're okay, we're a little, just after 2 o'clock. Yes, <laughs> he's on his holidays as well. Now turn left. Three quarters of a mile down here. Yeah. bad on this first bit as a you know you can pass vehicles just here. They think smaller. And this is where the fun starts. You don't want to be meeting anything now. At least if you meet a car after they're going out for the day or an afternoon or something. Yeah, they can reverse back all right, can't they? They should do. Yeah. So far, so good. It's almost like we talked it up. Oh, he can go back because he's got a <laughs> yeah. little bit there. Look. Yeah. They're rushing back for us. There we go. You have reached your destination. Not yet, we are. Almost. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Not like to look some people, do they? Almost like you've done something wrong. Is he dead? <laughs> of course I sat now we're here but we're actually not quite well, when did we come here how long ago it's got to be three oh, years ago it's a little while ago now isn't it yeah we came with Mel and Joe we came with Mel and Joe on their motorhome yeah, yeah they had the motorhome Nice site though, and really good for Fakenham, Wells, Nix to see, you know, the North Norfolk coast. They have some cottages here as well, which they rent out. Yeah, they do, don't they? Yeah. just around here on the right. And if we can, I'd love to get a pitch up at the restaurant. But we'll be on that side if we can. Oh, look. Look, will be at three for eight fifty. Mm. Fresh bread and bacon. I don't 
think it's that bit of saddle on me, isn't it, straight up? Oh, uh, she never gave me a map, she just showed me on this big one. way, down there, isn't it? Yeah. What number are they? That's 23. Right, keep going there. What number are they? It was the end of the line, the very last one, wherever it is. Mm. I don't think it's this one. I can't see the pitch numbers. That's 36. 39. Or 39. Is it that one? Yeah, 33. Is that it? One. Oh. Super pitch. Really? Is it? That's what you call it, isn't it? That's not a bad one. Hmm? Well, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What's the front end? Am I right at the front end? Yes, I haven't had You need to keep watching the front for me. Yeah. Now, let me so I can see if you've got it. David. Well, go and watch it then. Oh hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're at the uh, Old Brick Kilns caravan camping site here in Norfolk. It's a place called Barney, which is basically Thursford in Norfolk. And Thursford is only a couple of miles away from Fakenham. Narrow road in, as you probably saw on the uh, arrival video. But a lovely park, it's a family park. Lots going on here. You can hire cottages here if you want. There's a number of cottages available for hire. And they do look rather nice. There's the reception area and a small shop in there as well. And as you'd expect, currently they've still got plenty of COVID regs in place. So social distancing, etc. all taken well care of. Little information centre. So, just like the map's fallen off the wall a little bit. But here it is. Um, and there, <laughs> that drawing pin represents where we're at. It's very close to Thursford, two miles from Fakenham, and not far from the North Norfolk coast. Wells and Exeter Sea, Holcombe, Stifke, over here, Sheringham, and then Crome. There's a children's play area over here. There's also a recreation room, television, also table tennis and the like. And then as we come round behind reception, there's a toilet and shower block. I haven't been in that one this time. I've been here several times before, but I can tell you now, spotlessly clean anyway, so no worries there. And then what you've got going on straight after that is Barney's um, restaurant and bar. We've got a table booked in there tonight. Food is excellent, as I recall. So looking forward to that. A table for four. And if you like to do a spot of fishing, then um, there's also a little fishing area here as well. Three pounds a day to fish, three days for seven pounds, and the week 15 pounds from six o'clock in the morning till 10 o'clock at night. And strictly no fishing after 10, it says. Now I have seen people catch fish in here, so you shouldn't have any problems. Yeah, light bites and main meals, big Sunday lunches, breakfasts, takeaways as well, and uh, open 
every night by the look of it. Friday, Saturdays and Sundays from half two in the afternoon. Last orders at 8.30. Let's have a walk around the site though. So you've got a number of pictures and I'll, I'll put some numbers up if I can find them. But this first lot of pictures that you see here are called super pictures. And that's because they are hard standing. We've got your uh, waste and water plumbed in to the pitch. I've never even checked to see if there's a TV point. I'll have a look when we get back to our pitch because we are on a super pitch. Now the site sort of splits itself in two as you come round from reception. Go around there to the left and we are down in that area down there. A tip if ever you want to come here, as you'll see from the van in front, um, the sun moves around to my left hand side so you'd, you'd probably favour a pitch on the right hand side of this site facing the boundary to my left and then you'll get the sun pretty much till it sets or at least falls behind the trees. So this is the upper area here. Hiya. Hiya. Someone's celebrating their birthday. Uh, a birthday girl weekend away in the van. So this is an empty super pitch here. Hard standing. There's your waste drain there. You've got obviously electric hookup which is 16 amp and you've also got um, water outlet there as well. Connect your hose up to. Can't see a TV point as it goes. So probably no TV point. And then um, that's our pitch actually down there in the lower area. We've had a lot of rain, sort of showers today and last night, it was very heavy rain. When the sun comes out though, it's absolutely belting hot, it's cracking. So I've um, I've doubled back on myself. Originally started walking the other way around this, <laughs> this site, I'm now doubled back. So down below, I'm on the dog walk, which is a raised area that sort of circumnavigates the site. And then down below here, is the lower area of the caravan site. So it's nestling in trees, very well shielded from wind. Uh, however, if you get what we got last night, which was heavy rain, you'll know from experience that when the rain falls off the trees, it sounds like it's not raining. It sounds like someone's dropping a load of pebbles on top of the caravan. It was so loud, it was unbelievable. The great dog walking area, this. If you're wondering what's on the other side, essentially it's open fields, so nice and peaceful there. There's a very big caravan storage area, which I'll just show you, which is over here. So you'll see the staff bringing the vans out from this area, ready to pitch for you for arrival. Lovely. Now I move over here to more of a camping area. Must admit, I wouldn't want to be in a tent today. 
Okay, the sun's out now, but it was horrendous, the rain earlier. This is a camping ground, and there, uh, there are electric pitches here that I can see. Not sure how many, if any, are off grid. Hope you can hear me for the wind. The thing about camping is it's great when the sun shines, isn't it? So when the sun comes out, camping looks very idyllic. When it's lashing down the rain, not so. Ah, oh, you can't get around that area there, so... Oh no, I must admit, I didn't realise this was here. Little bird feeder area. And here you can come, take some photos, do a bit of bird watching. And on the walls. Now we have seen a barn owl since we've been here. I haven't seen a tawny owl, but I've heard one. We have noticed a few birds of prey in the area, mainly kestrels. So if you like this sort of thing, great place to come up. Bring your children or your grandchildren, or just come on your own actually for a bit of peace and quiet. So we'll hang around to the right hand side now. Reception's back straight ahead. It's a one way system, so you can't go back with your vehicle that way. And we're back to the pond that I showed you earlier. Lake, I think I call it more of a pond than a lake, but you can fish in it. And I'd say this is the main area of the site. Lots of little signs dotted about here that like the this one here, the picture of the woodpecker on, so you're likely to see a great spotted woodpecker in this area. So a nice little nature watch piece going on. That's good isn't it? I like that. Well here's a little map of the site actually, I'll just show you this, give you an idea. So I'm currently stood about here by the dell. There was reception. We walked round, round the pond. We went at that top bit, did a little bit of a walk up here, double back up to the camping area over here. And now we're back here. And we're just going to go and have a little walk round this bit. I'm not going to go in the toilets and the showers and stuff because I just don't feel comfortable doing it. I've got to be honest. I know if I asked permission I'd be all right, but I don't want to do it. But take it from me, certainly where this block's concerned, which we're coming up to now, the toilets are absolutely immaculate. I mean, it's just like, uh, you know, hotel, bedroom, ensuite facilities. Very warm, extremely clean, very modern, lovely hot showers, no buttons to press. You just turn it on and shower all as long as you want, you know. I was going to say all morning there, but even, even I wouldn't shower all morning. Recycling points over here. It's pretty straightforward, isn't it? But there's also your Elson point here as well. Glass recycling, plastic bottle recycling, general waste, and on the other side of the wall, you have got your water and your uh, dump for the waste. So quite self-explanatory really. Steps over there take you back up on the to that upper area that I was on.
and then as we head back round this is where we're pitched <laughs> 